Hello everybody, Crankit here, and I have a package of Lincoln scents. All of them should be uncirculated wheat scents for my album. This is my Lincoln scent album, and I am trying to get all the wheat scents in red. Actually, there is also one coin from my typeset in there, which hopefully I'm going to save for last unless it comes out first. But here we go. Let's open up this package. I'm going to move the album out of the way for now. And let's bring this over here. Let's get it open. And here it is. Wasn't expecting this. Uh, it's actually all together right here. It's a whole bunch of uncirculated wheat scents. Let's go. First up, 1942 San Francisco. I hope none of these got scratched up in that. Would have preferred uh, if they came in flips, but they look good, like in the pictures. 42S here. Hope none of them got damaged. Next up, 1942 Philadelphia. So a bunch of coins I need for my albums, for my uh, Lincoln Center album. These are all going to be upgrades. This is a 1935 Denver. So that should be my earliest red wheat scent. This one's actually kind of red brown, but that's fine. Because um, it's an earlier date. I have a 1927 red brown. So that, that would be my earliest. This is a really nice one. 1938 San Francisco. I think I was actually even missing this date as a whole. So that's an awesome addition. I forgot it was if it was the 38S or the 38D. But I was missing one of those for some reason. I just never got one, not even in brown. Here's a real and nice 47 Philly. Really nice coin there. Over here. Here, let's remove the puff. Over there, a 40, no, not 44, 46, San Francisco. Many of these 46s had weak strikes. 46S in red, real nice. Here is a 49, San Francisco. Really nice. Next up, 46 Denver. Has some stuff on the back, sadly. We have a 44 Denver here. Most of these are fully red, which is great. And they're all upgraders, of course. A 51 Denver here. Trying to get this one out. Give me a second. Okay. 44 San Francisco. That mint mark's a bit close to the day, right? Doesn't look. Looks like the mint mark's a bit close to the day. I think they were hand stamped back at the time. That mint mark's really close to the day. That's cool. I don't know if people will call that an error, but it's really cool that the mint mark's close to the date like that. I don't think it was like that on most 44s's. I think. This one's just, it was stamped a bit close. Then we have the 49 Denver here. Fully red as well. Here we have 51 San Francisco. Real nice. Over here, it's actually a steely. 1943 Denver in really nice shape. It's got some dots on dots on the reverse, but it's a really nice 43D. I don't see uh marks actually, not many marks, very few. Couple on the side on the obverse, but it's mostly just dots. It's a really nice one. Over here is a 1951 Philadelphia. Fully red. Oh. A 53. 
Philadelphia. It's got some scruffing or something on over here on the reverse, but it's fully red. Here's the 52 San Francisco. It's got something going on, like some scruffing or something. I'm not sure what it is, but it's uncirculated. A 48 Philadelphia. Really nice, fully red. A 45 San Francisco. Over here is a 47 Ember, fully red. This one's really nice. And the last one, well, except for that type coin, is a 1950 Denver. So the type coin, I, I thought it would be in, in there with the rest of them, but I guess it's in a flip somewhere else maybe. And here it is. A 1909 VDB cent. Red uncirculated. Going into my typeset. And I'm going to put my current brown typeset one into my Lincoln Scent album because I only have one. Really nice. Mint State 63 Red is what it's graded at. I didn't get it for the price tag, 35 I got it for less. 23 bucks. Real nice. There is that BDB down there. It's a nice coin. So this here is my cool little Lincoln Scent purchase. Thank you everybody for watching. And see you guys next time.